Sports analytics is hard and competitive and knowing what to work on can be even harder. Today I'm going to be taking you through six different projects that range in different skill levels from beginner to advanced that will help you boost out your skill set to be able to stand out from the crowd. Projects have been a key part in helping myself and many others learn and upgrade their skills. People I know have been able to use projects that they've done in sports analytics to be able to get jobs at different clubs, teams, different organizations that are all working with sports analytics. In these projects, Projects are really the foundation of being able to help these people achieve their goals and pursue their dreams. So the three goals that these projects should aim to accomplish is to one, to build the skills that you're going to need to be able to work with any of these teams, organizations, club. Number two is they're gonna help you build a portfolio that you can show to future employers, whether that be in sports or any other field that you decide to work in. And number three, the most important, having fun. So as we go over these projects, we'll go over what the project is and as well, what skill set this project should be helping you on. So let's start with the first one, and this is a beginner project. It is a data collection project. So this means that we're going to be web scraping or collecting data. We're going to be transforming, cleaning that data, and as well, we're going to be storing that data as part of this project. So kind of an overview of what you can do here is you can pick a website that you want to scrape. So you can choose web scraping, or if they have some sort of API that you can use to gather that data. And then as you gather that data, a key piece of data collection and kind of pipelines in general is to be able to transform and clean that data so it is in a stored format. It is a clean format so you're not having any weird data points and you always know what kind of data you're getting. And the third part of this data collection project is you are going to store that data somewhere, whether that be in a database, a file system, and really bonus points if you can store it in the cloud, whether that's a cloud database or say you store it on AWS or Google Cloud. The big skill set you're gonna learn here is one, you're gonna learn a lot of data engineering skills. Data engineering engineering to me is probably one of the most underappreciated skills in sports analytics and just really in engineering, software engineering in general. Learning these skills and learning how to manipulate, gather, control this data because there's so much data and data is so important. Sports analytics, data is a key part. You're going to want to know how to kind of control it all the way down a pipeline and this is a really good portfolio project to be able to show to future employers. Okay, so that's the first project. Let's move on to the second one which is a scouting project. So in this scouting project, project, what the main goal of it is, is to be able to analyze and evaluate different players. It can be in any sport, but whether that's in soccer, football, basketball, baseball, you're going to want to build analysis tools, uh, use statistics, build models that are going to help you evaluate these players. And this can be done on a recruitment basis. This can also be done on an, like a game preparation basis. It can be done on an evaluation basis, but you're going to want to use those key analysis skills and statistical skills that are really necessary to, in sports analytics. So some things you could do in this scouting project is you could identify a player that you want to recruit to a team. So imagine you're the head scout of a soccer or football team and you want to go find a player that's going to replace one of your players that has just left. So to do this, you're going to use a bunch of different metrics, a bunch of different stats, create your own analysis of these players. And then the key part is you need to analyze how this player fits into a team. How does it fit into an organization, a system? And as we have seen with a lot of teams, there's a lot of teams that are really bad at scouting and they're paying heavily for it. So scouting is a key component to sports analysis and it's a great field if you just wanted to focus in scouting. The skills that you're going to be focusing on are of course your data analysis skills and your statistical skills. So this is kind of more of a math heavy project. In the long run, it's really gonna help you out if you can understand just kind of these basic statistical models and concepts. So the third and final beginner project is going to be a game or match analysis project. So this project, project is going to focus on evaluating games or matches that either your team or another team has played in. And this analysis should be focused on key concepts such as what happened, what went right, what went wrong, where can the team improve? Where are some of the weak points in the team? So for this project, you're going to create a report of a game or an upcoming game. Ideally, this report has visualizations. It includes different recommendations from yourself based on the things that you were able to find. If you're doing a post game report, it should say, here's where we went wrong. Here's where it went right. If you're doing a preview, it might be, here's where we can exploit the weakness in this team we're coming up against, or are we best suited to play our best player in what position? 
position to be able to maximize their value. Really, this project should be more than just a simple page with graphs. It should have actual insights and be packaged up so a coach can make informed decisions. So three skills that this report is focused on is the first is communication, which is really important. Doesn't matter if it's sports analytics or a different job, you need to be able to communicate well. The second one is going to be your visualization skills as you do create those different graphs. The third one is just, again, your analysis skills. And this is tactical analysis as well as your data analysis. All right, so those are the three beginner projects. Honestly, those are three projects that I think anybody should do anyways. It doesn't matter what part of your journey you're on, but let's move into the intermediate and advanced projects. So the first advanced project is going to be predicting match and game outcomes using machine learning. This project, you're going to first want to gather data. So that can be from data you've already gathered in the web scraping project, but you're going to need some sort of historical data points to be able to train this model. And in this model, what you're going to do is you're going to just predict whether the team will win or lose. It's a good way to get into and kind of started with machine learning. And as well, there's a lot of different use cases such as sports betting where people are using a bunch of different models to be able to predict and make in place bets. What you wanna do with this project is not just create a really basic one and just a bunch of stuff you find on the internet. You go into testing different models to really try to find which one performs the best. You should be trying different parameters, testing different data points, seeing what happens when you change one parameter of the model or you fine tune something else. Even though the task is not super difficult, it's one that will allow you to better understand machine learning. And then if you want bonus points, you can end up deploying this model live to an API so that you can test it against live data that's coming in, whether that be from somebody in a website hitting this API, or if you want to just be able to use it for yourself. So the skills here that you're going to be focusing on are machine learning statistics. You'll end up learning a little bit about model deployment and APIs. So the second advanced project is creating a machine learning model that can actually track players in a video. So what you want to do with this project is you want to create a computer vision model that is going to allow you to plug in a video and is going to be able to track the players in the video and allow you to be able to create data points off of those. This is a common thing in data collection. It's a very big thing for all these data providers, being able to use computer vision to track all of these players, be able to gather those data points. So we're going to leverage technology and we're going to create a model that can do it for us. And ideally this model creates different events and the different skills that you'll be focusing on this one are the computer vision and as well this should give you a nice intro to deep learning learning as well. So the last project is going to be a sentiment analysis project. We're going to focus on using sentiment analysis to be able to evaluate the sentiment towards a player, a team, a club, coach, etc. The best way to start off with this project is you're going to need to collect as much data as possible. This can be from tweets, blog posts, news articles. You just need to collect a lot of this textual data to be able to analyze all of these different feelings and emotions. And these projects should include what are the overall sentiments? What are some top keywords that people are saying and key phrases? You could also use this to talk about player sentiment and how players are talking in their post-game interviews. No, because I will be suspended. Their pre-game interviews and be able to really understand the sentiment of a player, their feelings towards the club, the team, their performances. So for this, you're going to either be deploying your own model using different packages. If you're in Python, you're going to be using like the NLTK package. If you're really wanting to understand a little bit about AI, I would highly consider using the OpenAI API library to do this. Really, you can just plug in the data that you collect. You can use prompt engineering to be able to create the responses from these large language models. So the first big one you're gonna be learning about on this one is natural language processing, which is really important in machine learning. If you do end up going down the OpenAI route, you can learn a little bit about prompt engineering and how AI works with these large language models. So those are the six projects. Hopefully they have helped you understand better how you can stand out and what you should be working on to be able to pursue if that's your goal a job in sports analytics and what skills are really necessary as well i hope this has inspired you to come up with your own ideas and come up with your own projects that you can maybe work on maybe something that you're more passionate about these are really not like a need to do but they're a really good starting spot for exploration that's it for this video we'll see you in the next one